All right, welcome to Thoughts with Your Bro. Um, and I'm calling this the social media conspiracy. And the reason why I'm calling it that, I don't like conspiracies, but what's funny is that the same thing keeps happening. I live somewhere, have a driver's license, create an account, now all of a sudden, I'm him. I live there. Like, why in America can I not have um, social media? I'm a U.S. civilian, bro. Have my own name. Own everything that the government has given me. Social social security card. U.S. of A. And this is why it's funny too, bro. Everyone's running around and I don't care if you don't like me. But you have these morons that are like, that have the wrong story. Everywhere I've lived in this country. We got to catch them. And everyone's getting pissed off because you're harassing a civilian. Harassing civilians much? I mean, I don't understand what they're trying to get. But they always get caught. And then they go to their friends and they're like, Like, I'm not making fun of anybody. But this is why it's exactly funny. Right? Yes, I did find artifacts, two of them, me and my bro Chacho. Yes, I did graduate high school in the San Juan Islands. Yes, my name that I put on everything is my actual name. This is why it's absolutely 100% funny. Yeah, I did get arrested and all my stuff went missing. I had baseball caps, jerseys. Uh, high school stuff, mitts, anything to do with sports. Seems like somebody's playing the whole time. Right, and it comes down to a business too. Also had businesses. And this is why I'm laughing too, bro. Like straight up laughing. Right? Have businesses. But check this out, I had businesses too, right? And I'm laughing because it's literally the same person. Gerald YLS, Gerald this, Gerald there, Gerald, 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 Gerald. Then I also have also this. And I'm actually wondering, bro. And I'm sitting here and I'm wondering. I go, okay, but why aren't those registered trade names on that registration business license? It's like they're trying to make two of me, right? A a company, a government. Right? Then I get targeted again. (laughs) And I'm laughing because I'm sitting here using my own social media, right? I have a driver's license. Have a marriage certificate, have my own stuff, have my own name, and my own bank accounts. Right? I had, uh, let's see, San Juan Islands, had Key Bank and Wells Fargo. Ferndale, where I had businesses, Key Bank, Wells Fargo. Right? And they're trying to cover up everything. And I don't know why. And the economy is going to shit, and everyone's like, we gotta catch them. <laughs> Again, not making fun of anybody, but it's literally the funniest stuff I've ever seen. The white GA 140 CP conspiracy. Right? And what's weird is we move. (laughs) They move me somewhere and somebody pretends to be the owner. Right? I create my own social media, do everything... Same thing happens everywhere. New York. Washington. And this is why it's funny. To me. Then that relationship ends in the same way. Every relationship I've had ends in the same way. Then I get in another relationship. Right? And I show the girl that I'm with. Hey, I lived here. I lived there. And this is what's funny.
Then another conspiracy starts happening. I start posting on my old uh, Facebook accounts, YouTube, this and that, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay. It's kind of weird, right? And not only that, bro, while married, I I don't know, I ha why do I have a ConocoPhillips parking spot? Why do I have a Twit card? Why do I have an OSHA card? Why was I coaching kids? Why was I getting scouted for sports? Went to college for basketball. And again, the cell phone conspiracy comes up because I have my own phones. Right, Verizon, I had a SIM card that was in this phone that I could put into my VZ slider phone that I had while going to college. Transcripts. Washington State. I mean, that's, that's Washington State, right? And then my high school phone and my college phone go missing. Again, with the SIM card. I was able to put SIM card in this and SIM card in my VZ slider. And then that goes missing. And I come home one day and I look at the floor and at where my phone usually is. And I'm like, why is that a different phone? I never had that phone. And the same thing happened with my uh, ex-wife. She sent me my old phone, Straight Talk, Verizon, T-Mobile, which were actual civilian contracts, and T-Mobile. And I'm like, wait, why do I? Why did she send me a phone I never had before? Right? Makes no sense to me. And this is why it's even funnier is that after a divorce, I moved back um, and I went to all my old accounts. I had a, a plant account in Linden and a, a mower shop in Ferndale and I actually purchased something. A chase card, which I have here with me. Bought some plants, and then I went to a mower shop and bought something, and I was like, dude, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same person. And updated my address to phone number to a T-Mobile account. And what's funny is I was living with a girl, and that and, and that's when, when I updated my phone number. Oh, no, 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 that's him. That's him. Get him. <laughs> Right? And everyone's wondering why the economy is going to shit. And everyone's getting mad at me. And I'm like, dude, you guys are the only morons that are making shit up and lying. Right? And now people are doing the same stuff. It's really funny to me, bro. Like, the addresses and P.O. boxes, the addresses where I live and have driver's license are the same as the P.O. boxes. Bro, check this out. This is the, um, the trailer that I had where I loaded up every day for work, you know, blah, blah, blah. Not living here, but this was where I got it re-registered. But it seems weird every time I re-register everything, something changes. And this is why it's also funny to me, bro. Think about it. There was a setup here, set up there. Every state is lying about where I had a driver's license and what social media I created and doing this. And the economy's going to shit. And everyone's like, <laughs> So if you think about that, in any sense of way, shape, or form, just a guy trying to live his life, Right, no matter where I live, I get uh, registrations, Facebook, this and that, and someone claims to own something, but they don't. They don't own my name. Never once have I had a, an attorney say, "Hey, you are using my client's name. We are the owners of that." Not once. Let me check my email real quick. Now, nobody's the actual me. I have my own stuff. Maybe that's why everyone's obsessed with my stuff. And does it have to do with uh, inventions too? I have two inventions. 
two inventions that I could be getting paid millions of dollars for, but nah. Somebody has to steal those two. I am him. No, nobody's the actual me, and this is why it's absolutely hilarious. If somebody was the actual me, why would they need my kids? Well, uh, same thing is happening in all relationships. Ending the same way, doing the same thing, everything's normal, fine, healthy. But the pictures are getting changed and the social media is getting changed. Right? Uh, someone took off with my kid. And the government did nothing about that at all. Nothing. What happened? If someone needs my actual kid. I'm the actual him. And I'm sitting there like, uh, what? Oh, let's clone his kid. Same thing with a, a marriage. Well, let's clone his wife and put him with the clone. Right? What is this? The Illuminati biggest dumbass scam of... <laughs> See what I'm saying? Now somebody's taking care of my kid, but somebody has my actual kid. Who knows what happened? Who knows? All right. So, conclusion. Did you ask? Or did you pay? Same person the whole time. Did you ask or did you pay? And I'm sitting here creating all this stuff, doing all this stuff. And somebody else is getting paid for that. But nobody has proof. I see why people are obsessed with my box. You know what I'm saying? Did you ask or did you pay? I find it funny how I have P.O. box stuff. I have, um business stuff the address where I live and the driver's license I have is put on the application but now some I own that same thing in New York I created TikTok I own that here's a funny story for you bro uh, my wedding night, I invited the same person who was there when I was punched in the face and put on an island after finding artifacts, creating, uh, you know, inventions, could be living a good life, rich, having businesses, paying people to run businesses, and meeting people and socializing, you know, all this stuff, quality of life. I find it funny that my one of my groomsmen that I worked with in the San Juans, we went to what? What was it? A mall to get our suits. I still have the same suit. Had the same birthday as one of my ex-wives now because of the conspiracy and all that bullshit. Had the same birth. One of my ex-wives' uh, fucking bridesmaids' boyfriends had the same birthday. And they literally threw down their driver's license. They're like, "No fucking shit." Do you find that funny at all? That a guy and a girl were married. But now, there's a conspiracy. But I'm just a regular guy. I'm no better than anybody on this planet, bro. I'm good at some stuff. I could be better at some stuff. I, you know. 
I just find it a little weird that a guy just trying to live his life, trying to create a portfolio and play in America, for some reason everything gets canceled, lied about, social media, bank accounts, just like Bank of America. Right? Use my own address to create Bank of America and seal my own file. I sealed my own file, which is like about this thick. And now somebody needs to use that file because somebody else is in trouble. Do you find that weird at all? See what I'm saying? And they're trying to cover up uh, where I went to high school. <laughs> trying to cover up what bank accounts I have. You, you, do you see what I'm saying, though? I mean, it's that simple. Did you ask or did you pay? And now people are getting paid for shit they didn't. Anyways, thoughts with you, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we need to catch you. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'm not making fun of anybody at all. A anybody at all. Bro, we were either put on Earth... Whatever God created, it, it doesn't matter. Either one, you were supposed to learn and didn't learn your lesson and you tried to steal that just to be that and then you uh, don't know what to do. And now you're just living off my dick or you're... I, I, I'm kind of confused. Bro, I've... I, I, But yet, they're covering up where I lived, what I've done, inventions, repossessions, stolen kids, and who knows? The rest. That's what you brought. The social media conspiracy. And to the people who are like, you didn't have my permission to post those photos. Well, one, what are you going to do, sue me? And two, was I in that photo with you? Think about that one. Think about this one. I'm even editing and reposting old posts from the times of inventions, from the times of marriage, from the times of businesses. From the times of kids, from the times of this. And they're like, you're in trouble, buddy. Well, I'm not buddy. And why would I be in trouble for reposting my own posts that they keep covering up phones and numbers and lines? Hello, brothers. Son, we're looking for the maniac. Have you seen this man? <gasps> 